Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Ariane Aaron Bureau with your Fastcast digital headlines for this Thursday. Taking a look at today's top stories that we're following in the Senate, another PFD amount up for consideration as part of the Senate's operating budget. The proposed PFD on the Senate side is at about $1,582, quite a bit less than the $2,300 PFD to the House passed. As for education, the Senate's operating budget is similar to funding the House proposed. It includes $680 in per student funding increases for the base student allocation. There's also $4 million to keep an Anchorage homeless shelter open through the summer. The budget now heads to the House. Next up, a group of senators and House members will form what's called a conference committee to work out the differences. And today, cleanup continues at the large homeless camp situated mostly on the old proposed National Archive site, which is right next to Cuddy Park. Yet, those who've been living there don't know where they're expected to go. Municipal officials say there have been about 115 people living in this encampment before the abatement began. With the Midtown Community Council President, Chris Stoner, also saying she's concerned about where these many individuals and families might go. I don't think that people have the right to park on someone else's property. That's their property. And we, we as members of the community need to decide where people can safely go and make sure it is safe. The concern for finding housing for people in Anchorage is only expected to worsen when the Aviator Hotel and the city's cold weather shelter both close as they're scheduled to at the end of this month. Those closures will add 400 more people to those looking for a place to live. We'll continue to follow this story, but you can read more on the cleanup efforts and what's next at alaskasnewsource.com. And a reminder for anyone that is food insecure, the Food Bank of Alaska is running a mobile food bank for anyone in need of assistance when it comes to getting produce to feed yourself and anyone else in your home. The food bank says these are some of the most needed shelf stable items, canned proteins such as tuna, boxed items like pasta and sauce, macaroni and cheese, noodles, and boxed meal helpers. Other donations are also welcome and those help keep the program running. Well, those are your FastCast digital headlines for this Thursday. I'm Ariane Aramburo. Have a great day and thanks for watching.